Nielsen says Stranger Things season three had a record 26.4 million viewers in its first four days uh, in the U.S., and that's a 17 percent increase uh, from the season two debut of the Netflix uh, hit show. Netflix released its own data earlier this week saying more than 40 uh, million households globally had watched the show uh, during the holiday weekend. Those kids are getting old. Uh, they're going to start looking a little strange. Uh, Dressed in the little tyke outfits and stuff, eventually, yeah. right? But, what uh, kids? <laughs> you haven't oh, seen on the show? No, no, I, I, no. You haven't at all? Uh, no, no, no. He doesn't stream. I don't, I'm not a streamer. He, he watches TV live. I mean, so when I watch the Squawk Box in the morning, I watch it live. I don't tape it because I don't do that. Well, we you have to watch Squawk Live. Of course, you, I mean, it's required. Don't you required. think you should go back and watch the first season of Stranger Things? I mean, it's, in, it's entertaining. I think you'd like it yeah. to see what everyone's talking about. It's an 80s about. thing, right? It's set in the 80s. Right. And Winona Ryder's in it, right? Yes. Yeah. I was she's a big Winona Ryder fan back in the day. I can see how she's your type. She dated Matt Damon, and I saw the two of them downtown many years ago. I know this is very boring for the folks at home, I'm just saying. That, but I haven't seen Stranger. It never uh, stopped me before. Uh, no, but this is a three hour show. She, yeah, There's plenty of time, apparently, yeah, unlike yeah. Fast like, Money. Uh, Gilligan, uh, that was three hours. She was, it, you liked her in Beetlejuice. I guess, huh? Uh, yeah, well, you know, yeah, I guess. Girl she was a little, little odd in Beetlejuice, but it was a good part by her. Yeah. I just liked Girl her in general. Too, I think, right? she, she, was married, she was engaged to uh, the Johnny Depp, yeah. if you recall. He had Winona Forever yeah. tattooed. Yeah. It's too bad. Which it's is problematic, yeah. He's, uh, <laughs> he's a little unrecognizable. He he's, might, she should be in Stranger right. Things. Could you imagine re putting them back together would be brilliant. If Reed Hastings is watching, which he is, I'm sure. It might be hard to get. But John, Johnny, Johnny has turned into Ryan. Val Comer, which is weird. Anyway. All right. Sorry. Uh, news on Boeing. It's 737 Jet Program Manager Eric Lindblad is retiring after nearly a year on the job and 34 years with the company. A company memo said Lindblad had been considering retirement since last year. Boeing 737 MAX jet has been grounded since mid-March. Mark Jenks, who was in charge of Boeing's potential new mid-market plane, will assume Lindblad's role as the lead on the 737 MAX program. He is tasked with getting the planes recertified, ready to fly. Shares of Boeing, they are down more than 4% since the 737 MAX was grounded by the FAA back on March 13th. Um, but really, off of the high, all-time high is what, 446 yeah. or so? Yeah, a pretty precipitous drop so. for the reasons we've talked about now for months. And the stock really hasn't bounced. It's, I mean, the market's at all-time highs, as Joe just said, and there's sideways to lower in Boeing. But, you know, I think everybody views Boeing, they say this is commercial plane company, period. It's not really true. That's really only half, their, a little more than half of their revenues. There's a defense aspect to right. this company as well that's being completely underappreciated. And when they report, I believe, on July 24th, given valuation, I think, the, I think earnings are going to be very strong. I know they're not giving guidance anymore, but I think the stock is way too cheap here. I understand why you would be concerned. But I think this is a name you want to own in this environment. It, it, it does key, as LeBeau always points out, it keys off of, uh, of deliveries, right, and, and of the commercial stuff. Even Phil LeBeau. Yeah. The 737 it, 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 program is a cash generator for Boeing, which funds the other programs like the mid-market plane. And the, min, the, the interesting thing about these moves is that the guy who's taking over the 737 MAX program was the head of the mid-market plane program. And so some people are saying, when is this mid-market plane going to come out? Mm -hmm. Amazing. Is it, that it is above now? its December... Levels well above still, even at 350. Remember, I mean, well, December really was, you know, everybody was, everybody was at a low that. You know what?